today, the magic of the big green egg convector. Woo! Yeah, welcome back to another week of the Fogo Life. I am Captain Ron, your resident egg spurt. Aha! Today we're gonna talk about the convector. What is it? What's it used for? What do you do with it? Everything like that. What it is, is this is Big Green Egg's deflector. It's used for cooking indirect, which means we're having no direct flames coming up and touching the food. There's gonna be a deflector in there. And it's called the convector. The reason they call it that is because it creates convection. So we're almost cooking like a, like a convection smoker is what it really is. So um, it's a great, great, great tool. You should absolutely get one if you have a big green egg. If you don't, go to the store now and get one. Everybody should have one. So let's get started and show you all about this thing. If I might make a suggestion, when you're out buying your big green egg, this does not come with it, okay? But buy it when you're buying your egg. You might even be able to find a package deal or something like that. Buy it when you're buying an egg because everybody I know that gets a big green egg winds up with one of these anyway. If you wanna make a pork butt, brisket, ribs, anything like that, you're gonna need one of these. It's super important. I almost wish it would come with the big green egg. There's a number of different ways to use this thing, okay? This position that it's in right now is called legs up. These are the legs and legs up. So what you would do is you'd set this in your egg and set the grate on here. But some folks actually like to use it sometimes like this, with legs down, okay? Some people use it when, like this when they're making pizzas or other things like that. Personally, I don't ever use it with the legs down. Some folks do. The beautiful part about big green egging is you find what's good for you and use it. I found what's good for me and that's what I'm trying to share with you is my experience. But my experience, I don't use it a lot with the legs down. I use it with the legs up. It lets a little bit of air get between the deflector, the convector, and your grate keeps heat coming from all sides and makes it a lot more even. Let's talk about convector placement in the egg. There's a couple of different ways to use it. So if you look here, inside here, I have the charcoal filled up just above the fire bowl and where the fire ring starts. Great level of charcoal to have here. But you'll see these three notches. The old style fire ring comes with these three notches. And you can take your convector and it will set right down in there into those three notches and it fits perfectly. I have this set up like this for our, for our purposes here so you can see it nicely. What I like to do is I normally like to have the one leg right in the very front below the handle so that the handle's here and the next uh, the leg to the convector's here. But just so you can see it nice and easy, I wanted to see how it goes in here. The old style fire ring, okay, you don't have the one with the notches in it. The new ones come just solid because the expander, you don't need these uh, notches anymore. So, but if you don't have that, or if you have it, you can set this in if you want to get it a little bit higher. It does not have to sit into those grooves. You can set it like this and you're going to have a grate that's just about even with the, with the edges of the egg. Makes it a little bit easier to work on, makes it a little easier to cook, everything that you need to make it a little bit better for yourself while cooking on the egg. And again, now it works the same way if you want to use it with the legs up. Simply take it, flip it over, okay? And the same thing, it'll fit right down into these grooves, okay? Like that, and then from there, you know, you can set your grates right on top of this like this, um, if that's what you want to do. I, I personally don't see a whole lot of reason to use it with the legs down. I prefer the legs up, but also, you know, you can see when I put the grate on here, okay, it's a little bit below the line here, but if I put it so that it's not in those notches, okay, turn it a little bit and just set it right on the fire ring itself, and I put the grate on here, you can see it, it's right level with the edge of the egg. And transversely, the same thing, is that if you set it in here with the legs up on top of the, um, on top of the fire ring, you can put your grate in there, and same thing, you're working at the same level height as the edge of the dome of the base, so it works out perfectly just like that. When these come new, they actually come white. Beautifully clean white. Through use, they're gonna turn black. Even if you protect them, they're gonna get some oils on them, everything like that. You wanna get it clean again? We did a video on a clean burn right here, and you can check that out and how to get this thing clean. Just include it in there when you do that, and it's gonna turn it beautifully white, like it was almost like it was brand spanking new. One thing about Big Green Egg, they have accessories upon accessories upon accessories. They even have accessories for your accessories. My favorite one is this. It's called the Convector Basket. And what it does, it eliminates me having to handle the convector by hand. It takes all of the guesswork out of it. It takes all the danger of dropping it out of it. You just set it right down in there. It's got the grooves where it can sit in like that. And now you can handle it with super ease, okay? You can load it in here with no problem. It goes easily. You can do anything you want. You can use it with the legs up, or if you're so inclined for some reason to use the legs down, it fits right in here like that. And you can do the same thing and use it legs down. The convective basket actually comes with the expander system, so it's a great tool. I highly recommend getting the expander system. It changed my world of big green egg cooking. 
big time. But if not, you can buy it by itself. And I like it just because I like taking all the guesswork out of handling this thing. It sets right in there like that. From there, you can set your drip pan in here. All right, and then from there, you can set your grates right on top and you're cooking away. Now, the beautiful part is with this drip pan, you're protecting the convector. You're not gonna allow all that stuff to get on there. So when you're cooking a brisket, you're cooking a pork butt, you know all that fat and everything that drips out? You put a little water in here, A, it's gonna keep the, the, the meats nice and moist and everything like that, and B, it's gonna catch all those drippings and not get all over your convector, not create some foul tasting smoke. It's gonna make a world of difference in your cooking. The convector is so great because you can roast with it. You can smoke with it. You wanna cook low and slow, you can do that with it. Anything that you wanna do indirect, that's what you got this set up for, and it's perfect. So now you know how to use it, okay? It's set up, you're ready to go, it's ready to happen, just light your fire and get this thing going. So that's all we got on the convector. I hope that you got some good information out of there. If you got anything that you would like to see us cover in a video, please put it down in the comments. And if you wanna know any more about learning about the big green egg and things and how to use all the different products and everything like that, check out our playlist. We've done a whole playlist of BGE tutorials from the very beginning to some experienced stuff. So check it out. Remember to get out and grill and I'll see you the next time on The Fogo Life.